Ladies and gentlemen, I have something for you now. The Bayer Dynamic V90R ribbon microphone. What the manufacturer says. A premium ribbon microphone, cardioid polar response. Bayer Speciality. They're known for their ribbon mics from way back, particularly stage ones. Smooth, clear and unbelievably accurate rugged. Ribbons were known for being perhaps a bit fragile, but technology has moved on, we hope. A new interpretation of the M500, which was a long-running stage ribbon, ribbon, I think supercardioid microphone. High feedback rejection. Ultra light, two micrometers thin, pure aluminium ribbon. And apparently these are assembled by hand in Germany by a virgin. And he's meticulous. Highlights the individuality of a voice. I wonder, it says smooth, clear, unbelievably accurate. So if it's unbelievably accurate, I wonder how it can highlight the individuality of a voice as all voices are different. That's maybe a marketing thing. So it's, it's something a bit special. Um, I was fascinated by it when it came out and eventually I got it. So let's have a look. It comes in a box. And within the box we have a tube, plastic. Um, what's that? Oh, instruction manual. And there is a graph somewhere, which I seem to have lost. Yeah, of the individual microphone, the printout, which we'll look at in more detail later on. The tube unscrews. Uh... And here is the microphone. Before we move to it, uh, am I going to take this to a gig? A lot of protection, I'm sure. Good for shipping. There are other ways of shipping uh, equally securely. Uh, so again, I don't use it. I don't think you would. It's going to roll about. It's easy to drop the thing as you take it off. So I revert to, for the moment, until me Italian leather. You understand? For the moment, I revert to the standard Bayer case. It's quite a big microphone, as we'll see when we get close. Off I go. Probably not as much protection as the tube but, you know, I'm quite careful. Let's have a look then. Very nicely finished, kind of a silver grey colour. And we'll compare it to the uh, SM58 and the Earthworks. Compared to an SM58, maybe doesn't look that much larger, but it's certainly, uh, you notice that it is. But looking at them now, don't, they don't, it doesn't look that much larger, but it feels, certainly feels like it is. And compared to the uh, Earthworks.
there are three screws around the circumference there which you can remove and uh, I have done uh, but I've, I've got a picture from the web to save doing it again showing uh, what's inside as far as I know nothing comes apart I'm not going to try very nice and uh, slightly unusual feel and I don't know if the light will catch it but I noticed that there's uh, a representation of an atom with a very fine grill. I really like this actually. Bayer do, used to do this a lot. Very fine. Uh, very pretty. Depends on whether you like pretty, I guess. But I think I can see an atom. One thing I forgot to mention when uh, showing you the microphone close up is the, the weight. Um, that you can find it online, I'm sure. Feels to me a little bit heavier than an SM58, maybe about the same as the, uh, the Earthworks, but uh, uh, nothing exceptional, either light or heavy. So, kind of middling, really. Maybe a little bit heavier than middling. Uh, let's have a look at the, if I've plugged them in and balanced them up as best I can. So let's have a look at the frequency chart, which should appear on the screen here. Wow, so fairly flat across the middle. Uh, two peaks and a dip. The dip, not really a dip, the dip goes back down to normal really, to zero. And then falls off quite sharply above, I don't know, is that about 12 kilohertz, 13 or so. So it doesn't go that high. There, It goes high enough but it doesn't go up to 20 kilohertz, not, not flat. And as you can see on this one, the bass tails off fairly early on. What they haven't shown on this is the uh, proximity of the curves. I don't know why uh, people keep changing the way they do things. It'd be easier to compare things if everyone, if it was just standardized, but even amongst Bayer, they used to, on some of their graphs, they show the proximity, which is important. On this one, they don't. So it looks like the thing uh, has finished fairly high up. Anyway, um, that top end is, is interesting, so let's see what um, what happens as I go over to it. Here we are. Now I'm on the, the Bayer Dynamic V90R, and I'm wondering what I noticed straight away. As soon as I said, nah, nah, ah, 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 the harmonics on that, I noticed jumped out a bit. Uh, I can hear myself breathing seems to be very uh, well defined breath noises up there if I bring it a bit closer bring it a bit closer I can hear there's a sort of uh, the bass is coming in it's kind of um, I don't say muscular exactly but also I notice that all that is very obvious if I bring it closer still I can hear the bass coming in more I can hear the proximity kicking in quite considerably now I'm going to bring it closer I've got to watch the meters closer 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 into the red. Closer. I think we're going to have to uh, make an adjustment here. Closer, closer. Still in the red, but hey. Closer still, closer still. So, um, don't know. I got, uh, don't know. Oh, oh, oh. I have a feeling of a kind of uh, almost an old school radio sound, which is, is actually what, what the ribbons were used for a lot, I think, back in the 50s, uh, 40s, 50s. This original was um, the M500, which this is um, a copy of, an update of, was, I think, produced in 1969 and ran through with very few changes and then was stopped in, the, I think, the late 90s, um, later or sometime in the 90s, and then this is um, a reimagining of it, if you like. So, uh, let's, let's just... Um, This is the uh, the Earthworks. So to me, this the Earthworks sounds um, I don't say flat, but I, can't, I I find it difficult to hear anything that's being uh, pushed. Sorry about that. Pushed or altered very much. The SM58, we all know. So yeah. So uh, this, these two are closer. The SM58 to the, rather than the Earthworks, the SM58 to the uh, the Bayer, 
SM58 to the Bayer. SM58 to the Bayer. SM58 to the Bayer. But the Bayer is much sweeter, much smoother on the top. So that's what I hear initially as soon as I um, switch it on and compare it to the others. That is a little bit of an issue coming up. So, uh, pops, S's, and breath. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peck. Peck. Peter Piper picked a peck. When will you learn? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 Could hear that, um, headphone didn't like that. And again, Oh, that place there. That's where it really, that must be those humps up the top there. Um, but they're smooth. Um, is it any? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter, I don't think it's any worse, really. You've got to be with all the microphones, you're going to get that. You've got to be careful with it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Put it right in there, it gets quite breathy. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Earthworks. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Is that the earthworks? Seems quieter now. I don't know why. Peter, no. Peter Piper picked, I think Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah, the earthwork is better. I think the earthworks seem quieter because it doesn't have so much of that. It's all very interesting that, isn't it? Nothing's quite as it seems. Uh, looking at the meters, the earthworks wasn't any quieter, but this is, uh, that area of the ear is very sensitive to all that kind of stuff up there. So this one sounds a bit louder. But even as I talk now, it's quite, it's, uh, it's, it's unusual, but very musical and, uh, and pleasing. It's it's not straight by any means, not flat. S's and breath, S's 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 and breath S's and breath. Susie Susie shoeshine girl sitting in a shoeshine shop all day long. She's edgy. I don't think so. It's accentuated up there, but it's it's done nicely. So it's kind of Susie Susie S and fifty eight. Susie Susie shoeshine girl Susie Susie. S that kind of has a kind of a whistle on that S, so there's siblings you have to be careful, and the rest of it's very grainy, so uh Susie Susie Shushan Girl. Susie Susie Shushan Girl. Susie Susie Shushan Girl. I don't think siblings is a problem because it's so sweet, really. You could reduce it with um EQ, I'm sure, but it's not really it's not really an issue, I don't think. Breath. Uh who do you think you are? 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 So again, if you have it right in front, a little bit noisy there. Is it any noisier than the earthworks? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Who do you think? It is on the earthworks. If you've got headphones, you'll hear a kind of low frequency uh, woof from the breath. Who do you think you are? Again, the Bayer, because of that, it's so, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with two marks and Spencer croissant, full butter. Ugh. Um, because it's because it's lit up there, that part of the breath, that part of the breath, is um, accentuated. So you have to be a little bit careful with uh, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Again, to the side, not really an issue. So overall, so 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 so, it does something. Uh, there, so it's a little bit of a specialist mic. This. I'm thinking. Proximity, polar response and handling. Proximity, we've done a bit. Might have to bring the meters down again. We'll see how we go. Uh, if I'm going, going, does it give me thunder down there? Does it give me, does it give me, does it give me thunder down there? Does it give me... Earthworks. Does it give me thunder down there? Does it give me, does it give me thunder down there? Does it give me... Does it give me, does it give me thunder down there? Even for me, it's usable. It's not as solid sounding down there as the earth works. It, it goes, even though the graph doesn't show it, of course it doesn't show the proximity. Even going, even going down. Of course it picks up more of that. <laughs> but it does it in a much sweeter way than the, the SM58. This is the SM58 going down there. This is the SM, this is the SM. This is the, I think I had both of them on, let's do that again. This is the SM50, no maybe I didn't. This is the SM58 down there. This is the SM58 down there. 
This is the ribbon microphone down there. This is the this is the rhythm microphone down there. This is the SM50. To me, to my ears, the SM50 is a little bit more papery down there, and the top end um, of the Bayer is smoother. So what do we have? Polar response. This is cardioid, I believe. Here I am on axis. I do like it actually. Here I am on axis. Here, so did um, uh, a singer. I used it on. Uh, I've got a point about that. I'll come to it in a minute. Um, polar response. So here we are on axis. On axis, coming round to the side. Coming round to the side. Coming round to the side. And there we hear the rejection. Coming round to the back here. Coming round to the back. Coming round to the back. A little bit of leakage, quite benign, it seems to me. Coming back round. Coming back round. Coming back round to the side. And there we've got the rejection again. Coming back round, coming back round, coming back round, coming back round, coming back round. It's meant to be, uh, yeah, the rejection's pretty good at the back there. This is cardioid, so you'd expect it to have good rejection. Hypercardioid has a little bit of leakage lobe there. This one's cardioid. Coming round the side, coming round. Yeah, and uh, people in reviews I've read said it doesn't feed back. I haven't had any problems with it. I don't, I'm not claiming any sort of super thing for it, but I, I think it's good at rejecting. Uh, with the proximity, I did notice it comes on quite suddenly. I've got a little bit used to it. So if I suddenly bring it in like that, if I bring it, this is no, this is no, this mic is no good. Sorry about all the going in the road. I can see all the time. This mic is no good, just picking it up and swapping out your SM58 or something else. I did this. I took this on a, a gig. Some of these, I try them with people, and uh, I realised afterwards that was a big mistake. Uh, she was a good singer, a no, no, nice setup, a regular thing that I do, and um, at the end she said, "Oh, oh I must be rubbish. I must be rubbish." And, uh, I thought, what's she saying? Like I said, when I when I used this, I, I realised, well, that was a bad. Uh, I do apologise. Should have done that. It's not. It's, it's, it takes some getting used to. It's all right. It it does very well out out here, as you can hear. It keeps, it keeps things very very even. I think 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 very very. It falls off there. Very very even. I think very very even. I think very very. Starting to hear that uh, intimacy. Very very even. I think very very even. I think very very there. All of a sudden, you get the proximity come in. So if you're used to using your microphone the way you're used to using it, and you have this one, it's not going to work because you're going to find suddenly, suddenly you bring it there. So of course she had no clue. Poor lass. What the hell's this? It looks like a microphone. Use it like a microphone. And uh, no, it wasn't. It was a, a, a bad move. So with this one, you've got to get very careful. You can get the low notes, and to get them, the pro full proximity has to be right in, right up here. And it will come on fairly suddenly, and then you move it away, it'll drop off fairly suddenly. So you've got to get used to its shape in terms of movement. If I want to bring things in there, then I can get some low notes. If I want to bring things in there, then I can get some low notes. If I want to bring things in there, that's a bit much. I've got to be so careful. If I'm going to bring it in there, I've got to be. And it gives a kind of warm, warm old school, slightly bloomy. I've got some 1970s um, big Celestian speakers in the kitchen, one on top of the other. Don't ask why. But they just sound lovely. They're not as accurate as as today's speakers, I'm, I'm sure. But the, the bass is warm, and you just sort of, oh, just sit there. A little bit of overhang, but not much. They're very well judged. But they're old school. They're things a bit gentler, a bit softer, not so incisive as things speakers tend to be now in the chase for uh, graphs and things rather than ears. So, uh, yeah. I, li I, I like it. I like it more and more. I've been using it a lot. I can do it with it. Incidentally. That's this one. Later on, I'm going to do a comparison because guess what turned up in Dupors? You know what? Dupors went from the microphone god of things. Yeah, man. The S5. Oops. The S500. So we'll compare them. That's the old school. The one that this is an update of. Okay. Let's try some tones. Let me have a look. Oh. One more thing. Handling. Well, yeah. Quite noisy. Interestingly, the old S500 isn't. That's a story for another day. Why? Maybe there's a reason. Maybe the reason why a lot of modern things seem to be worse. How can that be? We have so many materials and we've come on so far as technology. How can I keep finding things which would seem to be better from years ago? I just don't quite understand that. And anyway, that's a good microphone. Compared to the Earthworks, 
Is that the Earth 38? Yeah, completely different. Can hear a completely different sound as well. SM58 coming up. Very muted, low sound. SM58 doesn't do badly. It's, it's noisier than the Earth, but it doesn't do badly. It's, it's not that it's that noisy, it's just that the frequency of it is up there where the ear is more sensitive. It's up much more in amongst the, the voice frequencies than, than those other two. The Earthworks is way below. So you need to be a little bit careful with it. You have to make sure you don't. And putting it on off the stand is going to make some noise. OK, I'm going to try a few turns and just see. Will the rocky thing, not that I really do rocky, but as near as I can get, will the rocky thing kind of suit it? Doing some notes on the, the Bay of River Mike. Doing some notes on the Bay of River Mike. Doing some notes on the Bay of River Mike. And doing some notes on the Bay of River Mike. Can't see the point. SM58. Doing some notes on the Bay of River Mike. Doing some notes on the. Uh, no, this is a. Doing some notes on the SM58. And doing some notes on it. <laughs> These are the notes on the Bay of. Yeah. What it is, is it's not so much a uh, part, but even this just sounds to me sweet, so it doesn't quite go with it to my ears. Doesn't Well, it can go with it. I mean, it goes with anything, but, you know, it's I, I'm aware it's not its forte, seems to me. If I've got that sweetness there, it doesn't seem to be much point in uh, shouting and gripping and growling over it. What's the point? I'm not saying it won't do, but I'm thinking, what's the point? Uh... Maybe something a little bit in the middle and a bit more with notes involved. Maybe something a bit more in the middle with more notes involved. I think I'm feeling that the more intimate it gets, the more this microphone works. Yeah, I am feeling that the more intimate it gets, the more this microphone works. Earthworks coming up. If I can. I'm feeling that it, yeah, you can hear what it adds that the earth works. That's where it's, that's those humps. That's those humps, baby. That's those humps. Can you hear those humps? That's those humps. Can you hear them? Earthworks. Earthworks hasn't got the humps, really. It's just, 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 just what it is. Yeah. Let's try something lower. That's what it's got going on. Let's try something lower. Um, you know, going down and in here. I'm not going to try it a bit higher because if I want to drop to that. You know, I'm going down. Down, down there. Doing that. I'm going down. Down, down there. You know, I'm going down. Down, down there. You So you can hear a bit of a bluster. Down, 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 down. I've got to be very careful without having to work this one in. This one requires working in. If I'm doing this, down, down there, I'm doing this, down, down there. SM58. Is I'm doing this, down, down there, I'm doing something, down, down there. The balance is different, isn't it? Ba ah, ah, ah. So as I said, balance, it jumped out. It's a little bit louder, I think, despite the fact I set them up. Huh. If I'm doing something, something down, down there, something down, down there. You know, doing something down, down, down. Doing it. so I find that part there is is a smoother, a bit warmer, and it's, it's those jump through every night, but they jump through very nicely, like little lights glistening in a pool. So it's uh, down, down, down. yeah, and it's got enough and down there. Has it got enough down there? Earthworks, the obvious contender. I think I had the wrong one on a minute ago. Yeah. I thought I'd learnt which one was which. I made special attention, folks, because the last time was a bit of a shambles. It's going into one now as well. What have you got? I don't know where I am now. Is that it? Yeah. Down, down. Ooh. Yeah. Down, down there. 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 <sighs> it has got the support underneath it, though. Well, um... Let me just see what's on my list. Frequencies, speed, clarity, likes and dislikes. Frequencies are there. You have to hunt for them a bit. Down and down the right. And the top bit not going up to twenty hertz. I don't think I noticed that because uh, because that little those two little humps, they supply enough of it. It maybe stops it being shrill as well. 
speed and clarity. I, I, I get the feeling it's fast. I've got to be careful not to be influenced. Because it's meant to be fast. It's a very, very fine, light piece of ribbon, uh, aluminium ribbon, compared to the diaphragm on uh, normal dynamic mics. So it should respond very... It's got not much inertia. It should be very fast. So speed... Speed seems to be there to me. The clarity, it's clear enough in its own, I'm going to say, peculiar way. Its own special, perhaps it's better, its own special way. It's clear enough in its, its own special way. It hasn't got the same kind of clarity as the Earth's work. Even when I'm talking now, I can hear those little bits of unpleasantness, I'm afraid, sorry, from the croissant. I can hear all that. So you might want to be a bit careful. Well, maybe not. That's part of the mix. Likes and possible improvements. I like it. It's fun. It's not fun in a flippant way. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Better word. I like it. It's enjoyable. I could do with less of this. Like the old one. If you could do it then. Maybe there's differences. I'm not an engineer. But. Come on. I'd like less of that. Uh, as always. I'd like a usable case. Italian leather. Yes. I'd like a usable case. That tube. Uh, yeah. um. Other than that, I like its looks. It's big. It's in your face. That's it's okay for me. I've got quite a big face. If you've got a small face, you might find it looks a bit out of proportion. Don't know. I like it. I'm going to hand it over to the man and see what the man have to say. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh lovely pussy, oh pussy my love, what a beautiful pussy you are. A pussy said to the owl, you elegant fowl, how charmingly sweet you sing. Oh let us be married, too long have we tarried, but what shall we do for a ring? They sailed away for a year and a day to the land where the bone tree grows, huh? Then, oh, what a piggy wig stood with a ring through the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your brains? Said the piggy, I will. So they took it away and were married next day by the turkey who lives on the hill. Uh, they dined on men's and slices on quince, which they ate with a rum civil spoon and hand in a hand on the edge of the sand. They danced by the light of the moon. They danced by the light of the moon. They dance by the light of the moon. They dance by the light of the moon. The, the owl and the pussycat. Can you hear me? The owl and the pussycat. Oops. Impressionista, c'est docteur. 